good evening doctor this is our last session of this uh, webinar so i welcome everyone good evening and welcome everyone thank you for joining us for today's webinar webinar is conducted for interns of rvs homeopathy medical college and hospital in association with swara homeo grikal i am dr rathi devi medical officer from rvs homeopathy medical college and hospital i welcome everyone on behalf of our honorable chairman vijay shri dr k v kuppusami ayya rvs group of institution and dr shekhar arkunji sir founder of swara homeo group and i thank dr kribashni for being constant touch with us and i thank professor dr samran sir to make this webinar possible and i also thank our respected principal sir professor dr porchilvan sir medical superintendent professor dr prasanna devi ma'am and deputy medical superintendent professor dr kartikeyan sir swara homeo grikul the dream and vision of one man dr shekhar arkunji sir had humble beginning a handful of eager learners and an enthusiastic teacher imparting in a village under a tree the concept remains but the number of participants has grown into a huge family with members from all over the country said amit surrounding sin had a village in sankameshwara taluk of ratnagiri district in kongan the group could have four workshops in a year in march may september and december the science and art of homeopathy and its best is taught here in an eco friendly and traditional environment the gurukul's workings are steeped in tradition preserving the values of being eco friendly and in and inclusive nature walks yoga meditation and simple but wholesome food served in a traditional patra vary the day begins at dawn filled with enriching learning and other stimulating activities and ends in a evening with relaxing interactions participants together in a close knit unit let us see the today's topic this topic is the group nanu vekit nodi nanne kiri presented by dr jaki ma'am gattiga i would like to introduce our speaker dr janvi she is graduated from dr allu ramalinga government homeopathy medical college and hospital in 2005 practicing in a last, practicing in the last 11 years at bangalore associated with swara grukul in the last years she has completed cch at her other she was a faculty in obstetrics department in bahamda homeopathic medical college she is always interested to refine her knowledge and do the best to her patient which comes from her dedication towards the home system welcome ma'am now i hand over this session to dr janvi good evening thank you for the warm welcome ma'am good evening one and all i thank rvs homeopathy medical college and hospital uh, for this opportunity i thank uh, chairman uh, vijayashri dr kuppu swami sir director uh, rufus nathian nathaniel sir principal uh, professor dr p porchelvan sir and medical superintendent dr n prasanna devi ma'am uh, for this wonderful opportunity and i thank swara homeo gurukul and dr shekhar sir always uh, he is our guru and without him uh, we are nothing so today is our topic is arachnid the spiders they are the invertebrates uh, of the animal kingdom 
they are very tiny creatures with four pairs of eyes and four pairs of legs okay uh, the body parts they are divided into two parts the body has two parts that is the cephalothorax and the abdomen okay and it has tough exoskeleton it has the uh, it is made up of the tough cuticle and it has very fine hair on the body okay so because of this fine hair they are very very hypersensitive okay this hypersensitivity we'll see uh, when there is a weather change or there to the finest change of the weather and even the slightest change in the atmosphere to the noise to the music when there is any change they become hyperactive they become hypersensitive and the body of the spiders they are very small measuring from uh, mm millimeters to the, the largest spider that is uh, tarantula which is 10 centimeters so we have the rubrics where delusion they are small so that is the rubrics in the human expression delusion they are small the sensitivity the hypersensitivity is so extreme in almost all the spiders and it is more we see in theridion uh, anyone uh, can you tell me the rubric in theridion anyone in the from the participants anyone from the participants the sensitivity is to the noise is so much that it penetrates into their bones it penetrates into the into their teeth it penetrates into their body that is the sensitivity of the spiders towards this uh, external changes even the slightest change in the atmosphere there are uh, the spider remedies like it becomes they become sensitive okay sensitive to noise is more important in the remedy theridion okay they have a very excellent vision so this vision is very much helpful to trap the prey so uh, they they trap the prey these spiders they have uh, different ways few uh, spiders they uh, spin the webs and a few spiders they are uh, they live in the uh, burrows and uh, they have a trap and whenever uh, uh, prey comes immediately they just open that uh, door the trap and they immediately uh, they trap the prey so this excellent vision is very much helpful uh, for the spiders to trap the prey and uh, they have unusual body shapes and colors so uh, we'll uh, learn one by one how these shapes and colors are useful for them in their day to day life okay so uh, to deceive and ambush and capture the prey they use these shapes and colors and also one more thing is to escape from the enemies from the enemies they quickly escape they are so quick uh, there are few rubrics they are very uh, what do you call uh, quick they are quick enough and even these unusual colors and the body shapes uh, they are useful to attract the mates okay one of the most important feature in the uh, spiders the arachnids is the reproduction so in this reproduction we have few things very important things where the female spiders are much larger than sometimes four times the size of a male spider so uh, when the male spider tries to approach a female spider for mating the female spider uh, thinks that it is its potential lunch dinner 
ओके बट द मेल स्पाइडर ट्राई सो हार्ड सो हार्ड टू अट्रैक्ट द फीमेल इट यूजेस इट्स कलर इट यूजेस इट्स डांस दे डांस सो द म्यूजिक ऑल दीज थिंग्स दे डू सो मच टू अट्रैक्ट द फीमेल दैट इट वॉन्ट टू शो दैट आई एम नॉट योर पोटेंशियल डिनर आई एम योर पोटेंशियल मेट सो दैट trying and trying they try again and again again and again in their lifetime even the males don't eat they keep on uh, spinning the webs uh, they destroy the web once again again they reconstruct that web so that uh, to attract that uh, female spider to get a potential mate of its life so that is the reproduction in spiders okay and cannibalism is very important in spiders what is cannibalism anyone from the participants what is cannibalism anyone in the chat box please so cannibalism is eating the flesh of the same species so it is not seen in each and every uh, everywhere in the animal kingdom it is mostly seen in the spiders this cannibalism so females eat the males they try to eat male spiders when they approach further to make that female as a mate but they try and try so hard so what others do Uh, we see in the bollywood what heroes do to attract females what females uh, what the heroes do they do six pack they do dancing okay they do uh, that uh, guitar playing all these thing giving gifts and all so here in spiders what they do they do dancing with their colors attract i'll show you in a video where they attract the uh, females by doing a good dancing music all these things so we have the rubric they like music so much and there is sensitivity towards music both are there in the rubrics and we have the dancing dancing is very uh, prominent in the spider remedies <laughs> so for the whole life uh, the male constantly constantly they are in search for a uh, to get a female mate so the the rubric we have it is uh, constantly busy constantly busy that is the rubric we have for the spider remedies it is not like the uh, love which is uh like the natramur the disappointed love it is not the that love uh the love in spiders is uh, ill effects of unrequited love we have this rubrics in spiders and tarantula is the uh, main remedy for that ill effects of unrequited love what is unrequited love one way love it is so the male tries to attract the female but they will not get the love back that is the unrequited love so this unrequited love we see the rubric in spiders and uh, there is one one of the cases of dr gaurangs uh, where uh, the guy he loves uh, a girl in his college where uh, he proposes to that girl but that girl rejects he becomes so mad he becomes so mad and he uh, uh, becomes uh, very mad he threatens that girl that either you love me or i'll kill you or kill myself so that is the state of the spider remedies so that guy uh, was given tarantula after that he calmed down so that is called the ill effects of this unrequited love and tarantula is one of the very important remedy unlike this natramur okay and uh, the dancing the attracting the females 
and all this is called the courtship so what is courtship it is the relation between a male and female before a marriage that is called courtship so where the male tries to attract the female uh, so that is courtship and we have other rubrics that is dancing desire to which uh, what are the remedies anyone from the participants anyone from the participants dancing desire to <coughs> music amelioration Can you please type in the chat box? Tarantula. Yes, very good, Tarantula. So, and we have the rubrics: restlessness, busy. These are all the rubrics in the human expression. and how the spiders they do they are always busy weaving the webs they are always busy uh, in getting a potential mate for their life so these are all they are always they die in hunger but they try and try so hard to get a, a female uh, for the reproduction so busy fruitlessly so they will be so much busy Busy fruitlessness, fruitlessly. So that is the rubric we see in tarantula and many other spider remedies. They are very restless, very restless. How much effort they put in? So they are hyperactive, doing and doing the same thing again. Okay. So they are very cautious and extremely careful while doing this act, where they should not be eaten up by a female, right? they dance they uh, they give a rhythm to the female and they let's cap we have a video i'll show you uh, after uh, after this uh, they try and try and once again they escape so that the female will not uh, 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 he'll not be caught up by the female so this lot of courtship to get a potential mate is very important in the spider remedies and the danger they have to escape what is the danger they have to uh, see the uh, that uh, what do you call the situation of the male where it has to attract and at the same time it should not enter into that danger zone it has to escape it has to be very cautious so we have the rubric cautious they are very cautious okay and if you don't get out of it you are finish it's a trap okay it's a trap so in that short time you need to get out of it so what is the miasm there what is the miasm there it's the tubercular miasm escape in the short span of time it is the tubercular miasm so most of the spider remedies are from the tubercular miasm okay understood clear till now clear till now or any doubts any doubts or clear till now so many of the spiders they are solitary okay they live in solitude they live alone unlike insects and mammals how insects live insects live in colonies like the bee hives the ant colonies the insects many of the group of insects they live together right even the mammals they live in groups right but many of the spiders they live alone only few spiders they live in colonies but many of them they are, they desire to be alone even we have the rubric desire to be alone we have that rubric so even though the spider is very small even though the spider is very small they are very clever uh, they have lot of trickery and they are so cunning 
cunning how they are cunning they go to the ant colony they disguise in the form of an ant they go there and they eat up all the eggs of those ants and they come back without knowing so that much clever the spiders are very deceitful very deceitful the spiders are so we have the rubric deceitful so these are the rubrics in each and every uh, where we have all those when you understand in the human expression we have these rubrics and how the spider behaves that is how if we learn each and every uh, remedy that will be uh, it will be like we can uh, um, go with the uh, materia medica very well and the repertory okay and when you see a case when you see a case and each and everything we um, uh, like we relate it to it the understanding of the case will be very easy and this is very well done at swara homeo gurukul so when the when we see the cleverness of the spiders they are very cunning they play tricks they play pranks they play jokes okay all these things they do this is not found in insects even insects are busy they are uh, fruitlessly busy the insects are okay even uh, we have many uh, features which are uh, uh, common in insects and spiders but the cunningness is not seen in insects the trickery all these things they are not at all seen in the in, uh, insects okay the pretending so when you see some uh, kids pretending uh, like oh uh, mama i don't want to go to school i have stomach pain i have fever or i am fainting so these feigning sickness it is called the feigning sickness it is uh, very prominent in the spider remedies we have the rubric feigning sickness okay so what are the remedies in it feigning sickness anyone so very tricky and very witty is arania ixabola that is one of the spider remedy arania ixabola it is very prominently seen they are very tricky and very witty okay this wittiness uh, rubric witty we have other remedies what are the uh, other remedies in witty anyone from the participants anyone from the participants witty lacasis lacasis okay and very good okay opium the coffee and even the reptiles all reptiles they are very witty so how you see this witty in uh, opium how they are witty opium they are the best liars right opium they are very good liars very quick to lie right so the best remedy of the materia medica liars are the opium they are very quick in that so opium wittiness is seen in that lying okay and coffee how the witty will be too many ideas too many ideas we see so coffee is that way it is very witty okay and what about the reptiles the lexis and all the wittiness in making a big the biggest trap okay it's the spider remedies it is the small small traps but the reptile remedies it's a biggest trap it, it will so the reptiles 
activity is to create a very biggest trap and nobody knows there is no clue what happened so that is the witness of the reptiles many reptiles okay and in spiders it is just the animal nature the witness is to put you down that's it that is the witness of the spiders just the trickery the small small things that witty part we see in the spiders okay is it clear so to summarize all this in the human expression so the intense pace intense pace the hyperactivity the busy the busyness the constant movement and the sudden fear of death so the spiders to summarize this this is the whole summary of the spiders always they are like on the intense pace hyperactivity they are very busy but fruitlessly busy always on the constant motion so this is all the expression of in the of the spiders so we will see a video of this courtship of the spiders he just needs to follow it wherever it leads him Other males have gone on the same quest and have come to a grisly end. So do you see the males? The males are with colors, different bright colors to attract the females. Okay, understood? Here's a female, and she doesn't look very amorous. In fact, she kills every male who doesn't match up to her expectations. It kills each and every male. male who has to at just watch what can he do to win her over dance He will need a show-stopping trick to avoid becoming lunch. To avoid becoming lunch. Understood? To avoid becoming lunch, he has to dance in such a way, it is escaping, once again coming back. His fan unfurled, he begins an ever more complicated series of dance moves to try and seduce her.
She succumbs to his advances and allows him to mate with her. He matched her expectations. So finally, what he said? He matched her expectation. Okay. Finally, the male won. Okay. He got his female mate. The cannibalism, how nicely it is represented in the in this video. Okay. For the reproduction, female tries to eat the same species, the male. Okay. That is cannibalism. And the male, it tries to attract, tries to attract the female. And he wants that potential mate. He wants to become a potential mate for the female. Okay. So for that, there is intense, hectic activity. The dancing, the music, the rhythm. So all this together in the human expression, we'll see. Okay. So uh, to summarize, so this, the spiders, they are small. They are very tiny creatures. But they are very speedy. Why that speedy? Because they have to escape. Sudden. That sudden intense pace is seen in many cases. We see many cases of autism uh, in the spider remedies are indicated. Okay. Pursue. Paralyze. The spider poison. This paralyze the prey. Okay. Punish. They are very irritable and impulsive. Very irritable. Impulsive they are. That the anger is just an impulsive anger. It's very sudden. It's quick. Okay. And the deceitful. Okay. What is deceitful? They deceive. They do the tricks. They do the cunningness. All these things. Okay. Death. So it is seen in the chuberclar miasm. If you don't escape... Death is imminent. Okay. That escape. The restlessness. If we see in many cases of autism in ADHDs and in a few uh, kids with behavioral issues, we see the restlessness. There are many remedies among restlessness, but especially the spider remedies, very restless they are. And the rhythm. They produce a rhythm. Okay. That to attract the female spiders the rage they are very uh, the rage is too high in the spiders especially in tarantula especially in tarantula okay understood clear till now any doubts any doubts So, uh, this is an image portraying the camouflage. How the military people, uh, while they go uh, uh, to the borders uh, to for the war, okay, there they disguise themselves in the, the plants or in that uh, deserts, somewhere around. How they disguise the same colors they use, uh, the same colors to go and uh, intrude into the uh, other um, troops so that is what the that camouflage is the spider remedies are very good at this camouflaging okay we'll see in a uh, few cases we can see in the camouflaging okay and the colors they love colors especially the bright colors red blue green it is in the rubric form colors they love red, green, and blue 
these uh, especially tarantula it like uh, those people love those colors okay and uh, you cannot see all the expressions uh, how we take the case in an adults so we have to see how a child is behaving what they are doing so in our clinic when we give them few colors and uh, some white sheets and if you make them do something what they will do they scratch they do something so in that we need to observe what the child is trying to make what the child is portraying okay so that is how that is one of the ways we can see the clear observation we need to see in case taking that is one part and uh, this is like how mischievous they are how mischievous they are very impulsive i have a case of a five year old uh, boy uh, luckily i took that case during covid time it was an online case but after the covid release uh, i asked the parents to get that boy uh, so that i can see and observe him here in my clinic room how much impulsive he was how quick he was very quick he was sudden like uh, i was just writing something he took uh, one of my stethoscope or one of the pens something just he'll throw it away and how much he like smiles and laughs when we uh, when our face becomes uh, bad like when we uh, when someone is not good and worried they will enjoy that so that is the uh, cunningness that is the trickery uh, that is the uh, impulsiveness suddenness of the spider remedies so uh, these spider remedies uh, peter fraser in one of his paragraphs he has written they have the confusion of identity confusion of identity is very clearly seen in spider remedies neither they belong to the sky because uh, they are not like birds that they fly away too high into the sky nor they belong to the earth because they don't live on earth they keep uh, we, uh, spinning the webs somewhere around they are suspended between earth and the sky so that they have the confusion of identity it is very clearly seen in the spiders so that confusion of identity is very uh, we can see in the cases in the broad spectrum of autism we can see many cases of spider remedies because of this confusion of identity <laughs>
uh, the audio and video is it's all colorful the music the dance and the rhythmic dance so that is the dance of the spiders understood so uh, let us uh, begin a case uh, it's my case it's a five year old boy uh, it's a case of uh, diagnosed autism okay this case has come during 2020 covid time i took this case online after that once there is uh, covid release i saw the boy in my clinic and it took more than eight to eight to nine months. There are very good changes. So I want to show you this case and the entire case. Mother narrated the case and few points by uh, that boy's father. Uh, at the age of five years, the boy was 38 kilos. Can you imagine? Uh, so, he doesn't respond to any of the question from the outsiders, okay? There is shy feeling. He repeats whatever the parents speak. Once he starts running, he runs continuously for 15 minutes with some kind of sound. Beats his parents if he is not given something what he wants. He cries and beats and screams till it is given what he wants since beginning he used to play more on the wheels that is this is one of the characteristic feature we find in too many, many autistic cases uh, they play on these wheels and he breaks all his toys once he broke the television by throwing a toy on the screen that is the impulsiveness of this uh, uh, this remedies okay He's so impulsive. If it is not given, just immediately. That impulsive he is, that boy is at the age of five years. He asks for a toy and in just two days, he will ask for a new one. He'll uh, he'll throw away the this toy and he will ask for a new one. He doesn't understand the parents' emotions. One of his grandparents, uh, he, uh, he fell down. So what this boy did, um, he was laughing at when uh, that grandparent um, suddenly he fell down. Tapping and he was making rounds around him. So that much um, no uh, emotions. So if there is something what uh, the kids will do or others will do, they will make them like at least they will make them uh, come back to the position or what they will do they will feel sad because they are their grandparents but the uh, see the nature of this boy okay so he is very much afraid of these noises if parents shout at him he will be afraid for few seconds and again he starts screaming he repeats any sentence for 20 to 30 times which was told by the parents. This is called echolalia. In many autistic cases, we see this echolalia. And if, for example, if mother or father asks him, do you want some toy? He will repeat that you want a toy. The same thing he will repeat. He cannot tell that I want a toy or I don't want. He cannot tell. That is the no two-way communication. He'll just repeat what the parents tell. He doesn't know how to answer to the question. He just repeats the question. Okay, it's not the repetition of jinkamet and all. Okay, it's just no two-way communication. Okay, this is the understanding in this case. He's very hyperactive. Doesn't sit even for one minute. And he loves eating curd rice so much. Okay, and why this curd rice? So... Uh, the spider remedies and these spiders they have the uh, tendency to have um, they like the juices they like the sweets the sugars 
instant energy okay um, so that that pent up energy they will have the hyper activity for some time they jump they do all the mischief and after some time again it is gone because it is not the solid uh, thing they uh, they want to eat they like the uh, juices that are uh, easily um, edible not the chewing foods okay and he likes to watch tv movie songs and he dances uh, dance related videos if he like that song he calls everyone and make them sit and then he jumps and he dances he started responding to the music and he started dancing at the age of 2 years okay he watches bed lamp if he doesn't get sleep okay he pulls his mother's hair or irritates his mother jumps and stamps her at that time so at the at 2 o'clock at night 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock he doesn't get sleep okay what he will do he will pull his mother's hair he'll make her cry he'll jump on her heel stamp all these things they are very violent okay and they stay in the third floor he suddenly grabs some toy he runs and throws it to the ground floor and tells everyone that he threw it whenever uh, someone everyone gets worried he enjoys that moment he laughs at it for that he will do okay so what it is called it is attention seeking it is very prominent in the spider remedies attention seeking uh, sometimes he will be in his own world it is also an autistic feature okay as both parents are working then they appointed a babysitter uh, she used to watch uh, that babysitter used to watch tv for long time she didn't take care of him uh, at that time they observed and identified it as autism and they went to a psychiatrist where they assessed it as mild autism and immediately they started a speech therapy when he was 2 and 1/2 years old but there was no change by the time they came here 5 years old he was not much there is was no two way communication no clear words okay then they joined him to school and he started reacting to the rhymes why rhymes because they are rhythmic right <laughs> zoom post. okay they uh, started identifying a b c after going to school and now he tells a is for cat okay so that is the state of this boy he can't sit in the classroom for more than 10 minutes he waves by to the teacher so he has fear of swinging he he has fear of small small things and he has fear of birds he shows it to the parents and then he tells it will not do anything because sometime uh, some or the other time long back uh, his mother said it will not do anything so he doesn't know that it is a bird and he cannot say that it is a bird he will say it will not do anything so that is what the communication is okay he talks very meaningless words he sits in the class and suddenly he will say dog and he will keep on repeating the same word he loves playing in water he has fear that he may fall down uh, shy feeling to the strangers he cannot express that he has stomach pain he just says what happened to you because his mother sometime uh, she said what happened to you and he will he remembered that word what happened to you he loves going out to open free areas hill stations he enjoys rather than going to malls so the spider remedies they don't like the closed places uh, he loves um, in uh, going to the like it's the chuberclar miasm the hill stations the areas the parks and all he doesn't like covering he throws them away okay head sweats a lot pillow gets wet if there is no fan he likes to eat food and he gets irritated if food is late he eats more than his age in between he wants snacks chocolates he likes sweets chocolates ice creams okay and uh, he likes watermelon curd rice and he doesn't chew the food he swallows it so we discussed it right 
he doesn't like chewing the food he, he likes swallowing it is the nature of that spider okay his actions are very quick abrupt it is called uh, it, we have a rubric uh, mind actions abrupt mind abrupt he does mischief in just a wink of a moment okay he has the fear of sounds sounds of the mixy cooker he closes his ears what we discussed earlier what we discussed they are very hypersensitive they are sensitive to the music they are sensitive to the sounds so each and every point when we take the case clearly each and every point how to relate okay his birth weight was 4.3 kg okay it is uh, like uh, more not the normal birth weight okay it is uh, birth weight was 4.3 kg he loves to be free he doesn't like if parents holds his hands while going out he doesn't like closed places the bright light crackers decorated lights at the parties he loves okay this one uh, it is wrongly uh, typed okay and he loves the rhymes okay because they are very rhythmic if someone is angry on him he will make them shout much more and he enjoys that moment that is the trickery okay mother's pregnancy i couldn't get much more because mother was very conscious he, she didn't give the complete picture even though the so the case was very clear for me so few points what she gave uh, she didn't conceive naturally so she took treatment and then she conceived the whole pregnancy weight gain was 15 to 16 kg it was a very big uh, figure it is and lots of stress as my husband didn't tell me to keep my photos in the facebook and instagram so what is what was her stress <laughs> what was her stress it is he didn't allow her to keep the photos in the facebook it is a big stress for her uh, he restricted me a lot so these are all the words of the mayasam okay i was brought up very freely and uh, she used to listen music a lot during pregnancy so so everywhere we see everywhere each and every point when we connect how good the case is so uh, this is the case so before treatment how this boy was very irritating father for something but his father didn't need to give it so that is the reason like he was asking his father he was shouting he was screaming so uh, there is another video which was sent to me uh, before this treatment itself uh, like he was running here and there on the terrace and um, they uh, they caught it on the, the video was sent to me but because of the uh, confidential issues i couldn't put a 
uh, mask for that video. It was he was uh, running so fast. That is the reason I didn't put this video here. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So the these are the rubrics I took. Mind anger, mind impulsive, okay. Mind sensitive noise and sounds to dance desire to and attention deficit disorder. So one once I repertorized all these rubrics. So tarantula is like I got this remedy. So I gave tarantula one m one dose. Uh, in the month of October, I think I gave tarantula one m, and after one and a half month, they gave a follow up. There were very few changes, but not that much. But there are changes. So immediately, uh, these autistic cases, in my experience, like I give first, I give uh, the remedy in one m. Quickly, I go to 10 m. Uh, the next, so I gave 10 m one remedy tarantula 10 m in the month of uh, December. I gave 2020 tarantula 10 m just one dose, even that eight, eight to nine months follow up. Even recently, I took one more follow-up. The child is doing good. He is going to regular school now. Uh, after that, uh, after 10 m one dose, the violent behavior reduced so much. And the first uh, generals I observed what the parents told is the sleep is very good. And he reduced his weight by 3 kilos. And mother was not happy with it. But it is good for the boy. That is, uh, that weight is not good for the, uh, and I told him to reduce the sweets, the sugars, the chocolates and ice creams. Because of this, the hyperactivity will increase in the autistic cases. So I told uh, mother not to give all these excess carbohydrates. And the hyperactivity reduced. He started writing ABC and the sitting tolerance also increased. And follow up after six months, he started going to school. Two-way communication increased. Not that he it is hundred percent, but it increased. The violence has reduced to a large extent. That is what <laughs> uh, they were very happy with the uh, with the treatment. So that is what it does wonders when we take the case properly and once a very good remedy is selected. Okay, the follow up. After treatment, he started writing A, B, C. Okay. Rough check. B, right? C, Kadu. Mother, uh, she is making him okay. write A, B, C. That's it. And then the sitting tolerance B, increases right? so much that he started writing. People who cannot sit, they will not write. C, Kadu. B. Very good. Ravchi. C, right? C. Ni. Talakai. C, right? Mother is also restless. Very good. Ante, cover kya ape ali. Very good. C, right? C, right? C, right? Okay, uh, this is the follow up. So, any doubts in this case? Anyone, any doubts? A few more points I want to discuss. Uh, he has a peculiar, uh, no other uh, fears for that boy except for fear of falling down. And one more, uh, it is that fear of birds. Mother will tell him, uh, see, the bird is coming. He'll keep quiet for some time. 
that much fear he has. Why this fear of birds? I just googled it that time, and uh, in the Google, like these spiders has threat from uh, birds. So these birds they come and peck the spiders. So that is the reason the spider remedies has that fear of uh, um, birds. It's very peculiar. I found it in this case especially. No other case I could find in other spider remedies. But in this case, I just searched and uh, we got this. Any doubts from that case? Any doubts? Anyone? No doubts. Shall we move ahead? Shall we move ahead? Or any doubts from that case? Okay. So the spiders, arachnids are classified into two groups, mygelomorpha and araniomorpha. So these mygelomorphs, uh, they are the primitive spiders and the araniomorphae, they are the modern spiders. These mygelomorphs, they are more aggressive and these araniomorphs are relatively docile, relatively docile, not that they are docile, they are relatively docile. Mygelomorphs are very aggressive, okay? And uh, these mygelomorphs, they are more confined and less mobile. They don't uh, spin the webs. So uh, they stay in the burrows and they trap the, in the traps and, and they trap the prey. But these araniomorphs, they spin the webs, all these things. That is the reason aranio, uh, the spinning, it is called the spinning. So the name. So they spin the webs. Uh, these, they have the constant movement. Araniomorpha, unlike mygelomorpha, they have this constant movement. They can jump. Uh, they can do camouflaging. All these features are more in the araniomorphs. And uh, the attack, the attack is from the forward and downward direction. That is the plunging action. So in one of the Sir Sankaran's Sir case, uh, I have heard from him uh, saying like he asked when the uh, there is a case of some pyaria of a small boy and the mother says about how this boy behaves everything and uh, he was, she was telling about the uh, this boy is suffering with this and this and he she, and he was asking how the boy behaves <laughs> and it is very peculiar he attacks and all she tells and uh, he asked her like what is the modus operandi what is the mode of attack and she told uh, he attacks from like this that is the forward and downward action. That is the plunging action. So that is how the attack is. And we can differentiate whether it is uh, uh, in that spider remedy, whether it belongs to mygelomorpha or araniomorpha. And from there further, we need to differentiate. So, but this araniomorpha, the action is a pinching action. It is like this, sideways and inwards. The attack is like this. So these are the... Uh, differentiating features of this and further if we go there are few remedies from mygelomorpha and we'll have a small study of each and remedy okay mygelomorpha we have uh, remedies like mygel lasiodora tarantula cubensis and tarantula sorry attracts robustus so the, these are the remedies from mygelomorpha Mygelomorpha, uh, sorry, the Mygel Laziodora, it is called the black Cuban spider. The action of this remedy we uh, see mainly in the chorea, the convulsions, the clinical actions. Okay, uh, mentally uh, they are very competitive, these Mygel Laziodora. Especially we see these cases much more in the convulsive history. Uh, one of the Sankaran sir's cases, he gave Miguel Laziodora uh, where um, that uh, the that patients, uh, parents, uh, both are uh, pediatricians. Okay. So they took the treatment and he gave that case uh, 
he took the treatment and he gave migel as your aura after that the convulsive history has come down so much in that case sankaran sir's case and uh, even the eeg it was taken the epileptic epileptic form uh, pattern was has disappeared after this remedy it is so prominent in the convulsions even the chorea the tics so these are the indications of this remedy they are very competitive very competitive they are violent they are okay and this the next remedy is the tarantula cubensis it is important remedy for the large dark blue boils carbuncles and the buboes okay it is also used for the uh, bubonic plague okay and also in the anthrax so these are the indications of the tarantula cubensis and atrax robustus it is a sydney funnel web spider this remedy it is more useful in the cases of thyroid with goiter and exophthalmia okay clinically and they have lot of hatred and lot of suspicion uh they are always up for a reason and uh, they get too much of anger and irritability when anyone enters their territory okay this is a very strong feature of this remedy attracts robustus uh even uh, this case was clearly discussed in our classes by sankaran sir's classes uh, very good case where that um, uh it it was 18 year old patient she was and she had many issues health issues like uh, thyroid issue uh, asthmatic she is many issues she has health issues and the case was beautifully taken by sankaran sir the uh, sankaran sir they are very violent her nature and all in that uh, he gave this uh, remedy where intruding uh, their territory they get very violent Uh, she gives the history of uh, a lady a neighbor who always comes to her home and she irritates her so much i can't uh, tolerate her behavior uh, all these things were discussed it is a very beautiful case so that intruding territory they get irritable that is the main feature of this attracts robustus so uh, these are the rubrics of tarantula hispania remedy these are all the rubrics i uh, i wrote it in one page so that everyone it is clear mind abrupt mind anger violent mind biting mind bootlessly so all these things we were discussing since beginning what were the issues of the spiders and all these are the rubrics we find in mind mind colors charmed by blue red and green so uh, the patients love to wear the uh, such clothes bright colored clothes they wear even once we give the crayons they will take out that bright colors okay even uh, we uh, saw that uh, song that uh, uh dancing how bright uh, it is how colorful it is mind dance desire to mind deceitful mind excitement excitement music from mind feeling sickness mind hysteria idiocy they are industrious mind jealousy mind jumping mind lascivious music amelioration sometimes there is aggravation from music in few cases noise aggravation occupation amelioration the rage it is very prominent in tarantula the rage and the shamelessness so these are all the mind rubrics of tarantula remedy i gathered there are many many rubrics in tarantula but these are the important rubrics which i gathered in this page so other uh, let us have a study of the arania morpha there are few uh, again they are grouped into like aranidae 
the orb-verb spiders in the human expression they will give the in the case they will give the sticky webs the camouflage the harmlessness the harmlessness they are less uh, less harmful they are little bit docile than the uh, mygelomorpha they are non aggressive uh, typically just they play jokes they make fun all these things they do they run away they look aggressive uh, but they are not that aggressive but they quite bite very quickly so these are the uh, things of arani day so in that we have the remedies arania ixabola where uh, they tease others okay they have they don't have the violence they are non violent they make fun they hide uh, they create the trap and they have the fear of traps uh, in one of my cases long back i took uh, he was a boy of 10 year old boy uh he uh, gave a peculiar uh, even that boy's mother was a pediatrician he had a constant chronic cold and nose block it was not coming down at all so uh, i took his case and this boy he peculiarly he told that um my sister the competitiveness how he expressed in the words uh, my sister takes all my she is younger than him he takes all my she takes all my toys and she will not allow me to play i am so uh, irritable i become very irritable when she takes away my things so i have i got a dream that i created a small trap for her uh, where uh, i'll put all my toys in that box and i'll create a trap and uh, i'll put some uh, uh, put some red ink somewhere in in that where it will close uh, and uh, when she puts her finger into it it will close i was encouraging that boy very good you are doing beautiful and he was telling it very clearly that and she will put the finger it will a uh, little bit it will make her uh, painful and uh, that she thinks that the blood will come out and that's it she will not come to that uh, toys once again so that good he was in creating the trap so uh, that boy he did very well with this remedy his nose block everything has gone so uh, beautifully when kids are encouraged uh, either their dreams or fears or their hobbies some or the other uh, area in their life they will tell all these things so only thing is we need to take the case clearly so the next remedy is arania diadema it is the cross spider periodicity is very prominent uh, we give it in fevers malaria fevers and there is this confusion of identity is very clear and it's a hemorrhagic remedy <laughs> these are the indications of arania diadema the lycosidae and uh, tarantula hispania wolf spider it is one of the remedy in this lycosidae they goes very actively after the prey doing behind the back the quick attack the striking the threatening the attention seeking and the pretending these are the prominent features of tarantula hispania okay they grab the prey that is the pinching action what we discussed in this areniomorpha they strike and they hide so quickly so one of the uh, sirs uh, case that lady was around 60 year old or 70 year old lady she was hospitalized uh, for some sickness and uh, there was a nursing station where all the things were put in uh, uh, here uh, like nursing station you know right many things will be kept there she did that uh, so quickly that entire nursing station fell down it was that lady who did that and she just kept quite so quiet she as if she doesn't know anything pretending that is very important in this tarantula all spider remedies especially uh, tarantula pretending so she uh, she just uh, kept her face as if nothing has happened and she doesn't know anything that is the trickery that is the cunningness and pretending of the spider remedies
especially the tarantula. So uh, these are the strong features of tarantula, assault and fear of being assaulted. They like very bright clothes, dancing desire for and music desire for. Threatening, cunning, very hasty. They deceive, intense fear of suffocation. This is the tubercular miasm. Here we can see this. Colors, desire for bright colors. Restlessness of the extremities, abrupt, impulsive movements, striking, desire to attack other people, to tear and destroy things, insanity from unrequited love. Okay, it is the one way love. They want someone to get that love and they don't get it and they become uh, insane. The ill effects of that unrequited love. So the other uh, group, it is the Theridae, where we see the tangled web spiders. It is Lactrodactus mectans, uh, Lactrodactus capitis, Lactrodactus hazeltis, and Theridion. These are the remedies from this group. So in this group, the females often kill the males. They are more violent than the Aranidae. They are cannibalistic. The female back widow spider is very venomous. It kills the male after the act. Okay. Lactrodactus mectans. It is clinically. Uh, it is given in angina pectoris. The chest pain. How the angina pectoris will be? The chest pain with the cold sweating. That is the typical feature of angina. Right. Angina pectoris. So the death is imminent. They know that the death is just a few yards away. So that, uh, that pain in chest with tremendous anxiety of death. Uh, this Sunirmal Sarkar sir uh, gave this remedy for his mother when she got a chest pain and she was uh, protected by for that time. That was very uh, good remedy for this chest pain, uh, this Lactrodactus mectans. They have this agony of death, fear of suffocation, anguish, restlessness with cardiac pain, numbness with fright. And this is emulated with the hot pack. Sudden sharp pain, pain in the heart. Feeling is that death is imminent. So that is the picture of Lactrodactus mectans. Theridion. So already we discussed this about this Theridion where this hypersensitivity is the, to the peaks in theridion, this to the noise. So theridion is uh, more indicated in migraines. Uh, there is startling from the noise, sensitivity to music, craves, juices, fruits, and sour fruits. Okay. Delusion that head belongs to others. Delusion, these are the rubrics, that head is separated from her body. Okay, the strongest feature is oversensitive to music. People uh, during the migraine attack, they close all the windows. They uh, they will not they will put off the lights, and they will sleep. They'll tell everyone at home that I they'll threaten. If you make a sound, I'll kill you. That is the picture of a theridion headache. So that that much oversensitive they are to the noise and sounds. That uh, that smallest sound, even the pin uh, it drop, what will it will pierce? It penetrates into their teeth. It penetrates into their bones. That is the sensitivity, hypersensitivity. To that extent, it is. It is in heights. The peculiar feature of cough. The peculiar feature of the cough, it is the whole body is bent double. The cough is so sharp and it makes the, the head is bent like this and the knees uh, come upward. So like that the cough is. So once you observe the cough, uh, this is the theridion cough. That intense cough, theridion. 
so uh, the other group saltisidae they are the jumping spiders and they can jump leap and disguise okay and one more group is sicaridae uh, these are the recluse spiders okay and uh, one more remedy we have from uh, this group it is tila arenia okay it is not the spider the remedy is made from the spider web okay it is very well known and proven in asthmatic cases this tila arenia and one more uh, remedy from this group is androctonus this is the remedy from the scorpion okay and this scorpion um, all the spider remedies we can how to differentiate is the tubercular miasm but this scorpion it is the syphilitic miasm it is intensely destructive the proving which has got from this remedy is hard hearted the unfeeling the violence the destructive the unsympathetic so these are the provings from the androctonus remedy the scorpion so the differential diagnosis so this intense phase the tubercular miasm all these things we see quite commonly so how to differentiate the carnivore plants even they will tell you the trap kill the victim those we will get in the case but how to differentiate we will not see the sexuality we will not see the uh, that uh, what do you call the violence we will not see all these uh, spider uh, qualities in this remedy it's only the mechanism the trapping and the killing so that is the carnivorous plants to differentiate the nitrates the nitrates we know uh, they belong to uh, the mineral kingdom so the nitrate nitrogen state is the state of the going through the birth canal so uh, the words which they use is closed trapped suffocated so it is the mineral understanding there is no animal understanding in this nitrate remedies okay nitrate and its salts and only one thing is suffocated and they need to come out that is the understanding of the nitrate remedies and these snakes how to differentiate these snakes the conspiracy is much more the planning uh, the trap even they will tell you the trap and all but in the snake remedies uh, we see uh, we see the uh, hidden agenda okay the plot is very well planned it is a sophisticated plan any when uh, you uh, watched that uh, bollywood movie kabil rithik roshan uh, is the hero i didn't remember the character of that rithik roshan uh, he is blind uh, if there is some time just go and watch how the planning and plotting of a snake it is very well uh, seen in that uh, movie uh, where uh, some uh, the villains and all what they will do uh, they they do some assault they'll kill that hero in something happens and he takes that hero how he takes though he is blind how he takes the revenge uh, he uh, the conspiracy is so much perfect planning and he traps the villain and he kills that two or three people one by one there is no clue left that is the perfect planning and uh, trapping of the reptile remedies the snake remedies that is not seen in this uh, spider remedies yes there is violence they are just impulsive they do small small cunning things small small jokes those things will be there that is how we need to differentiate between this reptile remedies and the spider remedies okay uh, snakes are more syphilitic and tubercular is the spider remedies okay and the tuberculan num remedy okay it's uh, the obstinate uh, it is more prominent in tuberculum the restlessness okay the child throwing the tantrums 
we see we watch uh, kids going to supermarkets they'll become so obstinate if they want something they'll do all tantrums so that is all seen in chubarkulnam not this cunningness this music dance colors that is not seen in chubarkulnam remedy so that's how we need to differentiate between each and every remedy so thank you so much any questions how do we elicit the trading uh, nature of the patient trading nature it's trapping the trapping yeah so i gave you one uh, example a uh, small boy how he wants to uh, do a trap and make that trap uh, to his sister uh, how to keep his toys away from his sister how he creates that trap i gave you one example right a small boy in his dreams he get that in his dreams the trap or uh, you we see in pictures right uh, they will tell someone that uh, uh, come father is calling you somewhere and uh, he wants to tell you something he will call that boy will call his sister or someone his friend and if he goes there uh, he he will ask whether you called me uh, he will tell uh, no i didn't call so uh, that small trap that's a trap right he will tell some or the other uh small things to make uh jokes pranks all these things it depends on uh, the remedy from remedy to remedy many pranks nowadays we see on the youtube shorts and all right pranks so wherever you watch wherever you watch small small things start observing things what it is what type of nature it is whether it is animal whether it is mineral what it is so once you start observing just observe then you will come to know uh, whether it is animal plant mineral and from there you need to see whether which animal it is is it a spider or a snake from this word trap is it a sophisticated trap or is it a small small trap any other questions yes ma'am how can we see this planning and plotting in real life i mean the snake remedies the snake remedies okay so uh, one of my uh, cases where uh, that guy was a uh, reptile remedy uh, he is a reptile remedy uh, he was like into the case he was giving the case mm, he uh, he came to me with a psoriasis okay uh, he has a man he is in a good position in his it job he has a manager where uh, uh, one of the other colleagues was given um, a chance to go to uh, abroad us or uk somewhere so this guy was so jealous of the other guy that colleague uh, he became so revengeful he started uh, going to the manager uh, slowly slowly he trapped that manager trapped means he somehow we used tricks here and there many tricks and he started telling about this guy that he is not working good he ha he started showing all his weak points to the manager and instead of that guy going to us or uk abroad this guy got that he grabbed that opportunity to, to go there so that is what that planning and plotting of the snake remedy in that case i observed that he uh one of the reptile i don't remember clearly but that reptile remedy his psoriasis 
very good like 80% or 90% he recovered it took few months but completely uh, he got relief from that psoriatic patches so that is the planning and plotting of so everywhere we need to observe thank you thank you dr janvi uh, it was really amazing um but i i just wanted to ask you in this case why is the patient talking about it like this snake remedy because is he not ashamed of his behavior uh, does he want to show off by saying i've actually done this or he feels guilty about it why does this particular remedy talk about it like they don't if have they... that guilt if they have guilt if they do, if they have guilt why do they do it's their nature itself it's their nature right they don't tell you within just within uh, half an hour of your case like i did like this so once you go with the uh, the emotions the delusions once they cross then that that will come from the subconscious mind till then we need to take the case that is what shaker sir always uh, concentrates that subconscious mind you need to get the symptoms not from the conscious mind uh, so indebted to shaker sir that he is the one how to take the case the case taking skills so that is clearly that is dealt with during the workshops uh, conducted in swara homeo gurukul the workshops where shaker sir guides the guided case taking everywhere uh, like he tells us how to go even in the uh, normal day to day life observe what the other person is speaking how he is speaking what he is speaking so once you start observing listening you will you will develop the skills he is not ashamed ma'am he is not ashamed he is not guilty it's his quality thank you um i have one more question you know the playfulness of tarantula uh we i i want to see how how does it differentiate from uh, even ambra grisia has got playfulness how does it differentiate between the two this is this is very case specific to understand but i want to ask you because i have this opportunity so i just want to ask you how how is it different like uh, in tarantula they can be really like uh, playful mischievous and uh, even mischievous. in yeah in in ambragesia <clears throat> i had a case and the patient is a bit mischievous like you know playing tricks and very and there is embarrassment underlying but that i i just want to know is there a difference between the two playfulness why tarantula is playful and why um... i really don't no no i really don't know about the playfulness of these two they are uh, tarantula they are mischievous in this mm -hmm. play and all but uh, uh, this ambragrisia playfulness i don't have any idea i'll just refer and i'll uh, i'll tell you uh, after a few after referring but uh, the the need of differ the differentiating points this is a spider remedy and that ampragrisia is like the from the water remedy it's a uh, i think it's a mammal right mammal yeah. from the water yes. yeah we, yeah so there we can differentiate but this playfulness i really don't know i'm sorry no no it's okay thank you so much dr jami i just thought you know i i was just uh, making use of this platform i'll refer thank i'll refer and i'll come back to you thank you thanks a lot it was a pleasure to listen to you thank yeah. you once again uh, thanks to rvs homeo uh, homeo college and hospital institutions and all the dignitaries of that college for giving such a wonderful opportunity uh, thank you so much thank you much ma'am uh this is our last session and i thank to you and man my gurukul sir uh, shekha sir and uh, dr krabashni ma'am thank you so much ma'am um and i also thank our 
మెడికల్ సూపరింటెండెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ డాక్టర్ ప్రసన్నాదేవి మ్యామ్ అండ్ మెడికల్ డెప్యూటీ మెడికల్ సూపరింటెండెంట్ డాక్టర్ కార్తిక్ థ్యాంక్ యూ sessions are useful and very informative ma'am thank you so much once again i thank thank you ma'am